to our second speaker today, Rich Melcher, Rescuing Thanksgiving Dinner. Rescuing Thanksgiving Dinner, Rich Melcher. When the economist John Maynard Keynes was questioned one time about why he had changed his mind on a particular issue, he is reported to have responded, when my information changes, I change my mind. What do you do? Contest master, fellow test masters, and guests. In this hyper-polarized environment that we sometimes find ourselves in, it's easy to despair of even witnessing a public conversation that's civil, much less where someone actually changes their mind. Of course, the situation is much worse on social media. Try to remember the last time on Facebook or Twitter you heard somebody say, that was an excellent point. Thank you for pointing out my mistake. I see where I went wrong, and I appreciate the thoughtful way in which you framed your argument. You can wake up and such a thing has never happened on Facebook or Twitter. That's not what it's built for. It's built for that kind of loggerhead engagement where people cherry pick the facts to pick their point of view, type off a 500 word screen, and blah, blah, blah. I'll show them, and it just escalates. But we can't go on this way. At some point, eventually, we are going to have to both individually and collectively be able to take in new information, process it, come to some kind of evidence-based consensus, and move on. We've done it before. An example from the not too far distant past is how the country changed its mind about Watergate and the Nixon administration. If we will recall, in 1972, Richard Nixon won re-election in a landslide. Through 1973, well into 1974, he enjoyed the support of his allies in Congress and his base. He wasn't going anywhere. And then the tapes came out. And everything changed. Everything changed. People took in the information. They processed it and the country changed its mind. So as we enter this important but fraught election season, if we want to actually have meaningful conversations and not just pull the covers over our head and wait till it's over, if we want to actually be persuasive, how best to do it? I think there are two things that are important when it comes to being persuasive. The first is that in order to be persuasive, I think you need to be persuadable. If one or both people come into the conversation with 0% chance of changing their minds, well, that's not a conversation worth having. If, and one way that I try to think about this to, to help keep that from happening is to keep this one question in the back of my mind. What piece of evidence, what piece of evidence would change my mind about this particular issue? If there's nothing, if there's nothing, if, if an angel came down from heaven and the Cape Fear parted, if there's, if there's no piece of information that could change your mind, well, then you're acting in, the, in bad faith. There's, there's no conversation there. Because in conversation, bad faith changes everything. The second thing I think we need to do in order to be persuasive is that, and this kind of assumes that we have a better end of the argument, but the other thing we need to do to be persuasive is to give the other person's brain a way to save face. If we don't, if we attack or if we criticize, and I think worse, if we ridicule the other person's brain, then that person's defenses kick in. The limbic system kicks in, the fight or flight. And then, even if they might be inclined to agree with your fact, to, to change their mind about something, their brain has no way to do it except to admit that it was stupid, or that it was craven or corrupt. And that's a difficult thing for a brain to do, especially when it comes to an issue of identity, where it's about them. Because then it's not just that they were wrong about an idea, but that they were wrong. So if we want to be persuasive, we need to be persuadable, and we need to give the other person's brain a chance to save face. If we do this, I think we can have some better conversations, maybe save some friendships, and perhaps rescue Thanksgiving dinner. Contest <laughs> <laughs>